Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to see about Bitbucket. Introduction for the Bitbucket here. We should know what is source code management. Source code management is also known as the version control system. So which is Bitbucket is same like as the GitHub can say like uh, GitLab, CICD, GitHub Actions, this kind of, uh, there are a lot of source code management tools available which is in market. We also call it as a version control system. It is a set of practice we are following to manage our codes basically and it will help to track our codes and it also helps to collaboratively work with our teammates so for that basically we are using the source code management when coming to bitbucket it is the collaboratively we can work and uh, there is a cicd part also available in normally we go for cicd for jenkins Travis CI kind of uh, servers we will do uh, we will install uh, this kind of softwares and we will go for CAC but here we can go within the Bitbucket itself there is a CACD option you can write a code and behind the scene it will run the CACD pipeline and it is the most beneficial for version control as well as the team to collaboratively work so it will provide the all statistic you can easily able to track and what are the features with the bitbucket it is the mainly for version control and you can rise for your pull request to review your code with your teammates so they can review your code and they will do the approval your code will come to main branch and will and it will get merge and uh, it is e the, there is a one of a option which is available called as a jira it is for issue tracking tool i will show you everything in the console there is continuous integration and deployment you can do it is a there are built-in features like a collaborations there are multiple uh, options available how you can start with the bitbucket so you have to sign up your account and you have to create a repository you have to push your code to the repository and then you will setting up for the basic access control so this will you will do and uh, let's see what what we have other options so bit of having the documentations option there is a, some community you can do with the bitbucket community and there are a lot of tutorial videos available for the guidance so let's see what we can do with the bitbucket here you have to go bitbucket.org in this you can see there is an option you can create your account else you can log in with your existing account i'm going to log in with my existing account meanwhile you can create uh, for the two-step verification it will be uh, more secured for your account i already created two-step verification so just i entered with my google authenticator so here you can see there is a project so these are my projects which i have already created so you can uh, create your project and you can work with collaboratively with your team and here is the pull request you can go for, for raising the pull request with your team members will do review those codes and they will do the approval process. So here is your uh, repositories and other uh, projects kind of things here with your uh, Bitbucket account. Yeah, here, uh, so with this, my member, th there is a only one team member, which is me. And uh, you can go to the Bitbucket and you can explore for the uh, Jira. So, which is the uh, tracking your issues. You can create your ticket and you can work collaboratively with your team. So, you can create like this projects, uh, like uh, you can go and create these projects. Uh, so, here and there and uh, so this project will be uh, look like this so inside the project uh, you can create the issues uh, so there are a lot of issues uh, you can make uh, for for example i am creating uh, a docker uh, image error so i am creating one ticket so here i have created the one ticket and um, so inside the ticket uh, you can put some description and um, this is the to do list uh, you can you can move on to in progress and you can do save and when you go and check with your tickets there is a 
there is a all process will be there and you can put uh, commands and you can tag your uh, team members uh, who are all available with this uh, so you can go and tag those people here and uh, you can make it as a assign to me so that this ticket will be uh, shown to your name and uh, once i got reference you can see here uh, on the board um, there is a uh, one ticket uh, which is uh, showing in progress you can create a uh, multiple boards like uh, uh, this will be for a uh, resolved you can make it as uh, uh, resolved so once you make it results then it will move to your uh, result so these are the uh, things you can go for the tracking your uh, issues there is a option which is known as a confluence so here you can maintain your documents uh, whatever you want to create and whatever you want to like uh, teach with your team members you can uh, go and create with this uh, uh, confluence so that our team members will learn from your documentation so for this it will be uh, majorly will be used can go and choose your uh, free trial and uh, so this will be create your confluence so let's wait for the creation so it's setting up the uh, my workspace so here are my uh, works uh, confluence page which i can um, go and create for software development related documentations and i can create a blog uh, so and so i hope this video is helpful for you if you think uh, this video is helpful uh, give thumbs up this will uh, motivate me to give more videos and uh, subscribe my channel for uh, more content thanks for watching my channel